Sinisterism is about finding the primal aspects of the left-hand path, primal in history, primal in the psyche, thus obtaining truth. Thomas Leroy Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to your dose of sinister heathenry. But for those new to the channel, I'm Thomas Leroy, founder of the international left-hand path organization, The Sect of the Horn God. The Sect is an educational foundation created to not only make those with the black flame aware of its glow, but to also restore the shadow aspects to the ancient gods by going deep into the past, not only historically, but also psychologically for the primordial depths of the psyche are limitless. So, if this sounds interesting, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more, join the organization, the Sect of the Horn God, at the link down below. Thank you. The philosophy of sinisterism encompasses an assortment of occult philosophical traditions that all emphasize the pursuit of personal power in defiance of religious and or spiritual orthodoxy. And Lucifer's association with sinisterism begins with his symbolic role as he who defied divine authority. As the light bringer, he symbolizes sinister illumination and the pursuit of knowledge, even though it led to his fall. Thus, his identity resonates deeply with the principles of the left-hand path, which values individualism and personal freedom over submission to external authorities. Hence, Lucifer's rebellion is not viewed as a fall from grace, but as a courageous act of defiance and a quest for enlightenment. The Lightbringer is a model for questioning established dogmas, challenging oppressive systems, and seeking one's truth even at great personal cost. But just as Lucifer faced the consequences of his rebellion, followers of the path need to realize that their pursuit of power and autonomy comes with risk and challenges. It is because the path is not for the faint of heart for it requires a willingness to confront one's own limitations and fears. In embracing Lucifer, sinistrous transcend conventional boundaries to forge an independent spiritual philosophy, a journey marked by a commitment to self-discovery, personal responsibility, and the courage to defy oppressive forces. Lucifer's enduring appeal in this context speaks to the universal human desire for freedom, knowledge, and the power to shape one's destiny. But he's not the only one to defy divine tyrannical authority. There are others. Like Lucifer, Azazel is associated with rebellion, the imparting of forbidden knowledge, and the theme of defiance against divine authority. While Lucifer is primarily recognized in Christian theology as the fallen angel, Azazel appears in Judaic traditions, particularly in the context of the Hebrew Bible and later Jewish demonology. In 
Christian traditions, Lucifer is depicted as a proud and ambitious angel who rebels against Yahweh and is cast out of heaven, which leads to his transformation into the embodiment of evil. Yet, despite this negative portrayal, Lucifer retains his association with enlightenment and the pursuit of knowledge. Azazel, though, is a more perplexing figure. For example, according to the Hebrew Bible, Azazel is associated with Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. In this ritual, one goat is sacrificed to God, while another, known as the scapegoat, is sent into the wilderness to Azazel, symbolically carrying away the sins of the people. This ritual underscores Azazel's role in bearing the burden of sin and evil. In later Jewish demonology, as in the Book of Enoch, Azazel is depicted as one of the leaders of the Watchers, a group of angels who descended to earth where they fucked women and produced the Nephilim. Azazel, in particular, is credited with teaching humanity forbidden knowledge such as the art of warfare and other skills considered corrupting influences. As a result, He's portrayed as a corrupter of humanity and is ultimately punished by Yahweh for his defiance. Where Lucifer is cast out of heaven and condemned to eternal damnation, Azazel is bound and cast into the abyss awaiting final judgment. Their punishments reflect the gravity of their transgressions and the consequences of challenging divine authority. Both figures serve as symbols of rebellion and the complexity of knowledge. Where Lucifer represents the dual nature of enlightenment, which can lead to both empowerment and downfall, Azazel embodies the dangers of forbidden knowledge and the moral corruption it can bring. From a right-hand path perspective, both figures serve as a cautionary tale against the dangers of pride, ambition, and the misuse of knowledge. But from the view of the left-hand path, they symbolize the drive for understanding and the risk inherent in seeking to transcend one's limitations. Lucifer and Azazel share significant similarities as rebellious figures who impart forbidden knowledge and face severe punishment for their defiance. Their connections underscore themes of rebellion, enlightenment, and the consequences of challenging Yahweh's tyrannical ways. But in the realms of comparative mythology, there's still another who defied divine authority to bring sacred knowledge to humankind. He is Prometheus. Even though they're from vastly different mythological and religious traditions, Lucifer and Prometheus share striking similarities that have intrigued scholars for centuries, for they're both associated with the idea of bringing light or knowledge to humanity. Where Lucifer, in his original context as a, as a Latin term, referring to the morning star, a light bringer, Prometheus, the titan from Greek mythology, is known for defying the gods by bringing fire to humanity. This association with light ties the two to the concept of enlightenment and knowledge. But even with Lucifer's negative portrayal within Christian mythology, the, the association with light persists, suggesting a role in bringing awareness or knowledge through rebellion. According to Greek mythology, 
Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to humans, enabling progress and civilization. Fire symbolizes not only physical warmth and survival, but also intellectual illumination. Prometheus, his act of giving fire to humanity, is seen as a fundamental moment in human development, representing the gift and knowledge and the potential for human growth and achievement. Zeus had intended to keep the power of fire, and by extension the potential of human advancement, away from mortals. Prometheus's act is thus a profound challenge to Zeus's authority, a statement of support for human potential and autonomy directly opposed to Zeus's will. Prometheus faced dire consequences for his actions, though. Zeus punished him by having him bound to a rock where an eagle eternally ate his liver, which regenerated every night, ensuring perpetual suffering. This gruesome punishment underscores the severity in which the gods respond to defiance and the high price of challenging divine authority. Prometheus' suffering, however, also highlights his enduring commitment to humanity as he endures torment for the sake of human progress. The stories of both Lucifer and Prometheus have been interpreted in various ways throughout history, often reflecting the cultural and philosophical context in which they were considered. For example, to us on the left-hand path, Lucifer is a hero who defied tyrannical authority. And Prometheus, too, can be seen as a hero, a symbol of human striving in the quest for knowledge. His defiance of Zeus can be interpreted as a metaphor for the human condition, characterized by a perpetual struggle against oppressive forces and the pursuit of enlightenment despite the cost. Both figures, to us, symbolize the complex relationship between the individual and the idea of the divine, embodying themes of knowledge, resistance, and the high cost of challenging the status quo. But since we know Prometheus brought us the light of fire, what light did Lucifer gift us with? The concept of the black flame is central to the left-hand path, symbolizing inner strength self-realization and the pursuit of personal power. And Lucifer is often associated with this concept, representing enlightenment through individual effort and the defiance of oppressive structures. Unlike the external light of conventional religious illumination, the black flame is an internal fire symbolizing hidden knowledge, self-mastery, and the pursuit of one's true will. In the context of Luciferianism and related traditions, it signifies the individual's journey toward self-deification and the cultivation of personal power. It is a symbol of rebellion against eternal authority, the embrace of one's inner potential, in the relentless quest for knowledge and self-improvement. From a historical perspective, the association between Lucifer and the Black Flame has evolved over time. Even though he's been vilified through most of the Christian era, during the Renaissance and the later Enlightenment, Lucifer began to be viewed by some thinkers and writers as a symbol of intellectual freedom. 
This interpretation laid the groundwork for the, for the modern esoteric traditions that would embrace Lucifer as a figure of personal empowerment. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the rise of modern occultism and organizations such as the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn and the Theosophical Society further solidified the association of Lucifer with the pursuit of hidden knowledge and inner enlightenment. Occultists of the 20th century would embrace Luciferian themes with the black flame becoming a central concept in these traditions, symbolizing the divine inner spark that individuals must nurture and develop. In Levain Satanism, for example, the black flame represents the individual's unique consciousness and potential for self-realization. The Black Flame carries profound philosophical implications for those who are illuminated by its ebony glow. And Lucifer's role as the bringer of the Black Flame encourages individuals to challenge societal norms, embrace their inner potential, and strive for personal transformation on this path of self-mastery. In conclusion, my friends, Lucifer, Azazel, and Prometheus convey powerful themes of individualism, self-discovery, and the relentless pursuit of personal growth for those of us on the left-hand path. And by illuminating the path with the light of the black flame, we're encouraged to challenge external authorities and seek our own truth while embarking on this journey to self-mastery but whatever you do though don't let that flame go out until next time